Hey guys, in this video, we are going to demonstrate how we can publish to Facebook Live using Video Ninja. So we can do a group conversation with multiple remote participants on Facebook Live uh, for free. Now we're gonna be doing this with OBS and without OBS. So we'll show you how you can publish from Video Ninja into Facebook Live, uh, two different methods. So to get started, let's check out Facebook Live. Uh, we can go to facebook.com slash live slash producer. And this takes us to this production page within Facebook Live. Let's us start and stop the stream, get settings. Uh, there's two tabs here, use stream key and use camera. The first uh, way we'll demonstrate how to do this is with use stream key. We're just going to hit copy our stream key. Now you don't want to show your stream key to people generally. So at the end of this, uh, recording, I'm going to reset it, but just to be safe, you, you never do want to show anyone your stream key because then they can publish to your Facebook page. We're going to go to OBS. So now, and we are going to go click settings. We are going to click st uh, stream and select Facebook live from the drop down. servers default. And then we can just change our stream key here to match what we just copied from Facebook. All the settings will be set up for us automatically. We can hit apply. And if you want to change resolution or anything like that, uh, we can do that under the video tab. So uh, for most people, 1080p probably is good these days, but if you have a slower computer or not a good connection, try 1080, uh, try 720p. So 1280 by 720. So we can hit okay. And then we can hit start streaming. Now we don't have video ninja set up yet. Uh, but we will be able to see that we are now going live into Facebook and there's going to be a few seconds of delay. Uh, so let's now try to add Video Ninja to this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go to Video Ninja. We're going to create a room. So let's say Facebook uh, live stream, one, two, three, enter the, the control center. And we're going to invite uh, a few guests in. So I'll invite myself in. One will be a snap cam link. And then I'll invite another link in. So let's say uh, this, whatever this is, I think. No, no, it's not active. Let's try Facebook. Let's try that. Okay. So now these two guests can see each other in Video Ninja and talk. And in the control center, the director, you can see the participants. Uh, we're gonna be using this group's scene link up in the top right here. And we can either set it to be a manual mode or an automatic mode. When it's an auto mode, guests will be added automatically to our output. But with manual, we can add, manually add people to the output with these buttons. But for simplicity, we're gonna say auto add guests. I'm gonna copy that link. And I'm going to go back into OBS. And I am now going to say plus browser source. Okay. I'm going to paste in our link here that we just copied from Video Ninja. We're going to put in a, a width and height of 1280 by 720 or 10 or 1920 by 1080. You know, whatever you're doing in Facebook, you probably want to match uh, that resolution. So 1280 or let's say 1920 by 1080. And then just make sure you click control audio via OBS. And, and boom, boom. Uh, uh, videos, videos pop up on the size, size things. things. You, know, you can move them around, around whatever you want. want. But, but the guests, guests are now, now in, in OBS. OBS. And, and that, that is pretty, pretty sweet. sweet. And if and we go back, back to Facebook here. We see that the output, although it's delayed, it's showing our Video Ninja stream, right? Pretty sweet. And now we're just going to go into an infinite loop there. Okay, so that's that's option one. Uh, once we have this kind of set up here, we can say go live in the bottom left of Facebook. We can change who sees it when we go live. We can change things like the latency. So instead of several seconds, we can have maybe two or three seconds. Um, Video Ninja itself, the guests see each other with 
50 milliseconds, maybe 100 milliseconds of latency. But the audience, if you're going through Facebook with this mode, uh, will have a few seconds of latency probably. Okay. Um, anyways, that's how we can do it with OBS. We're going to hit stop stream. And we are going to reset. And we're going to try it, try a different method now. Okay. So back to the live producer page, we're going to go to use camera. Uh, now for this, I'm going to actually delete my video device from OBS. Uh, because um, you need Facebook to have access to your camera for this mode, for whatever reason. Um, Make sure, sure got it all out. Nope, nope. Get, get, get it all out. Delete there. Delete the, there. Go to the browser <laughs> source. Okay, everything's now cleared out. Cool. Let's refresh the page one more time. You cannot have your main camera um, busy for this to work. Facebook needs to detect your camera. Uh, we're not going to be using the camera. Well, we could, we could select a virtual camera. Um, and then we could probably select it here. And then we could go live. Um, right, with the virtual camera, which is kind of cool. And it would be pretty low latency. Uh, but instead, instead of using OBS and a virtual camera, we are going to use screen share. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this group scene link and we're just going to put it into a new Chrome tab. Okay. Now, when we go back to Facebook, we can hit start screen share and we can go to our tab and we can select it. Just make sure it's the right one. And now in Facebook, you can see that our screen share is now going out to Facebook Live. That's really kind of cool, um, right? So we see the two guests, they're talking and we have Facebook Live going. And it's all because of this particular screen share. Uh, we don't have audio set up yet. And the resolution of the screen share is a little bit wonky. So we, we can try changing it. Um, and one way we could try changing that is instead of using um, Chrome, we can use the Electron Capture app, uh, which I'll share now. Um, let me just uncrop this. Boom. Okay. Let's open up the Electron Capture app. I think you can see that, right? We can take the scene link. We can stop sharing. We can paste it into the Electron Capture app. And then we can hit go. Right? The top of this app is draggable and resizable. But we can right click and we can say what resolution we want it to be and it will match that resolution exactly so now in facebook when we screen share uh, we can say select a window and we can simply say select the electron app right so that's one way we can do it and we now can see that that output is being streamed to Facebook at the correct aspect ratio now. Uh, changing this up even more, uh, if I'm participating in the group chat, I could actually just um, participate. Maybe take a link, go here, back to our uh, Electron app, paste in our invite link. And I'm going to actually just change camera. Okay. 
I'm going to say join room. Hopefully it lets me select my camera. No, uh, shoot. That's annoying. Um, okay, well, oh, my camera is rolling use. Uh, but the notion is you can join the Electron app as a participant. And in that case, uh, you wouldn't need to open up a screen share link. You could, let me try something else. Does this work? There we go. Uh, start, right? So now you could participate in the Electron app this way. There's this uh, box that would be captured by Facebook Live, right? So if we select screen share, we select, you'd have this box showing up in Facebook. Um, but we can hide that. We edit the URL here by adding on uh, clean output. So now you can join the room. Uh, gosh, what's OBS? Right now, you can talk to people uh, via the Electron app, and the output that you're seeing is also the output that's being captured by Facebook. So you can talk to people through the Electron app here, and uh, yeah, dual purpose. It lowers the CPU load for your guests. Um, and it also lowers the CPU load for you if you do it this way. And you can just screen share right in to Facebook. There's one thing we're missing, whether we do a virtual camera from OBS or whether we do screen sharing from a Chrome tab or screen sharing from Electron is we haven't brought in audio yet. Okay. So the one last thing we need to do is we need to install a virtual audio cable. Um, it's free to download, free to install. Uh, there's lots of different options. This particular uh, VB cable is free for personal use. So give that a go. Um, uh, you know, I purchased this for myself, but um, you can install it. You have to extract it first, unfortunately. Extract all, uh, I've extracted it so many times. Um, when you, you can't just right click it either. You have to say run as administrator, uh, remove old driver. I already have it installed, but that's how you install it. Um, and once you have it installed, we can, um, we could do this a few different ways. Uh, yes. We can actually change the output, uh, change the audio output from the electron capture app. So we can say, put all the audio of the electron capture app. Um, to the virtual cable. Uh, in this case, I'm going to take the scene link, put it edit URL. And another way of doing it is I can say output device or just OD equals cable. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw that guys. Uh, but when I paste in the, um, when I'm here and I paste in the link that I got from Video Ninja group scene here, I added OD equals cable. Uh, another option I could do is if I'm here, I can select the output and select VB cable from the speaker output. That does the same thing. It adds the output device, and then I can hit go. Right. 
what that is doing is it's taking all the audio from the electron capture app and it's feeding it to this virtual audio cable. Now in Facebook, I can drop down and select virtual audio cable. So the microphone is a virtual microphone and it's using the electron capture app as the audio source. And it's also using it as the video source. Because we're going to say screen share window electron. Okay. So now we have both the audio and um, the video from the electron capture app. So it's a tad confusing with the virtual audio cable um, and even with the electron capture app, but you don't need OBS this way. And it actually offers really rather low latency since you're not using um, RTMP to publish in, to Facebook. So there's some upsides with this. Um, if you want to do this audio capture from uh, the Chrome tab, so we have the two guests here, we have our scene link here. We can put that in and we can either say OD equals cable and that would work. Or we can go to Video Ninja slash Electron, put our link in here. Okay, so that's video.ninja slash electron. And then from this drop down menu, we can select a virtual audio cable. And then we can hit go. Okay. And then in the Facebook producer page, we again select virtual audio cable. And we screen share a Chrome tab. Okay. So we're screen sharing the Chrome tab. And then we're also live on Facebook. If I happen to resize this window, right, it's going to impact how it looks in Facebook. So that's kind of like a little bit of a downside in some ways. If I um, crush it, it's going to change the aspect ratio in Facebook as well. And I don't know if you want it, how you want, maybe you want it to be a camera phone, camera phone friendly. So that's kind of an option on how you can do that, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry if that got a little confusing. The simplest thing to do is use OBS and just publish RTMP out using a stream key. That gives you lots of flexibility, lots of control. But if you want to publish um, using um, using screen share or using a virtual camera, uh, that also works. If you take the approach of either screen sharing the electron capture app or a Chrome tab, you do need to bring audio in via the virtual audio cable. Uh, you can tell the Chrome tab or the electron capture to output to the virtual audio cable a couple different ways. You can use Windows Mixer, but we looked at using OD equals cable, or we can also use uh, the electron app itself to select the audio source. Uh, there's a few ways to do that as well. Um, all the links that I used will be in the bottom of this video description. So you can check it out there. And if you have questions or problems, come to discord at discord.video.ninja. Join one of the support forums and I'll help you there. Okay, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.